Need some coins or MT for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the fastest and cheapest coins anywhere, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. So we have the defensive Gridiron Guardians champion to get into. I'm also going to do a quick recap of the other two big cards of the Gridiron Guardians promo that we already know of. And remember, guys, the Gridiron Guardians promo is coming out tomorrow morning. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Jason for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below. Nota Gang. And also, guys, we do have Thursday Night Football tomorrow. We have the Browns versus the Steelers. Let me know down below who you guys think is going to win that matchup. Honestly, I'll go with i haven't really thought about this i think i'll go with the browns i think the browns pull this one out we'll see about that but regardless thursday night football tomorrow you guys can check out underdog fantasy and use code zerk to match first deposit up to hundred dollars and as well follow me over on twitter for my picks i've already posted up some picks you guys can go ahead and copy those if you want to do the opposite make your own check out underdog use code zerk so a quick recap here before we hop into the defensive hero for those guys that have not seen the other two and also i kind of want to add in a couple of additional comments here on these two cards coming out tomorrow but in case you didn't see this one especially the offensive champion for tomorrow guys is justin herbert now i personally love justin herbert okay i think he is an amazing qb I just wish he was a little bit better in Madden because unfortunately so, as good as his stats are, right? 84 speed, 93 throw power. He has 90 short, 87 medium. And then he has 90 deep accuracy with 90 throw under pressure, 89 throw on the run, 85 play action. From just looking at the card, it looks pretty good, right? Definitely looks like a pretty good card. And also when we compare him to, let's say, Drew Bledsoe, who in my opinion is the best quarterback in the game, uh, 81 speed. Well, here you have plus three speed, 93 throw power, even higher on uh, Justin Herbert, 90 short, 87 medium. Over here, we have 87 short, 86 medium. And then the deep of a 90, Drew Bledsoe, 89 deep. So you would think, all right, well, Herbert is definitely just overall better than Bledsoe, right? Well, he's not. And the reason why he's not is because his release. Unfortunately so, he has Slinger 10 release, which is just really bad. Drew Bledsoe here has Traditional 2, which is truly, it's not even actually on this list. It is actually the second quickest release. And if we take a look here at Slinger 10, you guys can see it is number 11. It is just really, really bad. And also, if we take a look at Justin Herbert's Core Elite, if we come down here to Census Pressure, guys, he has Average. Now, Average is much better than Paranoid, but it's still not ideal, which if we go back to Bledsoe, you guys can see census pressure ideal, which pretty much means that when he is under pressure, he's not going to be affected uh, by it as much. So overall, Herbert, stats look great, but when you think about everything else, release and under pressure, yeah, that's a pass. And then as for the LTD guys, it is Jeffrey Simmons. Now, Jeffrey Simmons, I believe, is 301 pounds. He's got 78 speed, 82 excel, 91 strength, 92 block shed, 92 power move. Something to keep in mind, though, is there's no rerolls with this promo. So no rerolls definitely means the LTD is going to be more expensive, uh, which is unfortunate because I would like to pick this card up if he's like you know around one of those like cheaper ltd prices you know 425 450 whatever i don't think he's going to be with how bad pack odds have been hashtag pack strike but you guys can see 78 speed 82 excel compare him here to warren sap speed goes to sap excel goes to sap strength of an 88 over here 91 strength and then 92 block shed 92 power move over here with 87 power move and 89 block shed so that's warren sap and warren sap as well as 303 pounds and uh jeffrey simmons i believe is 301 so take that as it is we also have this ty mcgill card which you know does have the 90 power move 91 block shed but like speed wise excel yeah, it doesn't really match up here to uh, Jeffrey Simmons with that 78 speed. That's four more speed, and also Jeffrey is bigger. So I would say Jeffrey Simmons is probably the best defensive tackle now in Madden 23. And then as for the defensive champion, guys, they just revealed him, Charles Woodson. And remember, okay, remember, tomorrow when this promo drops, do not buy any points packs, okay? We have to make a statement. I am telling you guys right now, I don't know what legends they have planned for this weekend, but they're probably going to be pretty good, okay? EA is not dumb. They are aware of what we are doing, 
and I think that they are going to try to bait us out here to see how long we'll hold out and we cannot fall short of that okay we cannot fall short of the goal which is getting everything that we want completed and as well getting an apology from EA and them admittedly saying from like a high developer that they messed up you guys can see right here Charles Woodson 91 speed 89 acceleration 92 agility 90 man 92 zone 88 press Charles Woodson really good card honestly I don't know how expensive he's going to be tomorrow but he has 91 speed 89 excel we compare him to night train lane who has 90 speed well plus one speed is always nice to see on a corner 89 acceleration over here we have 87 so two more excel man in zone of a 90 and 91 over here we have 90 and 92 press of an 88 night train lane press of an 88 and then we have 87 play rec whereas night train lane has a play rec of 85 so really this charles woodson looks like you know the best cornerback in the game now night train lane though is 6-1 has 77 block shed and also 89 hit power we go back and look at the legend charles woodson from last year which funny enough was a 92 overall this one being a 91 well you can see he is six foot one and on this card he had 83 hit power 83 block shed 76 tackling so uh, his block shed, his tackling, his hit power is definitely going to be lower, you would think, than Night Train Lane if we go all the way back here. 77 block shed, 89 hit power tackling. Maybe the block shed actually be relatively close, but I really, really doubt the hit power there is going to be as close to 89 as Night Train has here. However, this is definitely a really, really good card. So those are the champions in the LTD coming out tomorrow, guys. And also, if you're curious about the sets tomorrow, you know, how do you get this Charles Woodson? How do you get the Justin Herbert? Well, we do have a 90 minute overall gridiron guardians champion said where you need six 88 overall gridiron guardian players yes six of them and as i said guys there are no re-rolls in this promo at least as of what they said this morning now maybe they're listening to us right and with the aka promo they know we were upset about no re-rolls maybe 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 they will push out the front tomorrow with re-rolls but i am really really doubting it since they said this morning that there are no re-rolls in there however i would say if they drop this promo tomorrow morning and there are some re-rolls in there and not just any re-rolls okay good re-rolls i'm talking about actual potential profitable re-rolls that would be a nice step in the right direction right that would make things cheaper that would actually give us something fun to do instead of all these terrible re-rolls we've been having they just have very very bad pack odds and pretty much anytime you do a re-roll pack opening with the last couple of promos you're just taking an l like literally every single time but we'll see exactly on that maybe a will not have a reroll pack opening like they said this morning maybe they'll add one in at a later point we will just kind of have to see but that is grid on guardians promo uh, as far as i know they didn't say there was a part two of the promo but uh maybe there is going to be a part to the promo i know grid guardians 2 came out last year but that was like much later in the year so we'll just kind of have to see on that but this promo should be dropping at 10 30 a.m each time tomorrow morning i will see you guys then and again make sure you guys follow me over on twitter keep up to date with everything currently as this very moment ea has not like tweeted anything out about you know the hashtag pack strike i know people are going to ask me if ea has kind of addressed it uh nothing farther more than what they said this morning which is the team is aware of it so we'll see exactly what's going on there and uh with that being said guys hopefully you enjoyed see you guys next time and if you guys enjoyed this video check out these